How's it going, movie fans? I'm Nick. And I'm Ian. And today we're talking about Knock at the Cabin. Knock at the Cabin is M. Night Shyamalan's latest film. It focuses on a family as they have to make a tough decision where they have to sacrifice one member of the family to prevent the oncoming apocalypse. So Ian, you know, you and I, we both saw this movie in the theater, we might add. What did you think of it? I think that this is a pretty decent movie. You know, so far as movies go for this year, we haven't seen that many knockouts. You know, we've had, we've had Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, we've had... 65 so to have a pretty like tame non-action movie that's a bit slower i appreciated it you want to talk about knockouts i wouldn't bring up that word this is not a creed 3 review am i right but i would also say the same thing a lot of the movies that i've seen so far this year have been big almost kind of schlocky action movies yeah so this this movie it was a different pace you know it's a bit slower it's kind kind of a mystery movie um, where they're trying to figure out if these people who came to knock, knock at, at the, the cabin, cabin. Oh. credits uh, are actually telling the truth or not, which there's some th th there's some evidence both ways, and it's it's really keeps you guessing throughout the whole movie. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed that aspect of the movie. As did I. But um, the the one thing I didn't really enjoy was the ending. So. For those of you who plan on seeing Knock at the Cabin, I'd, I'd, I'd advise you to click off of this click one. Click off now! Maybe go watch the Spirited review from a few months back. Lovely review. Lovely review, ladies but and gentlemen. But anyway. Yes. Let's um, get down to it. You know, um, I've been told that the book that this was adapted from actually ends on a much more open-ended note. Yes, it We're does. We're not entirely sure if the sacrifice save the world, which I actually really appreciate. I, I would I would have much preferred an open-ended ending to this movie. I wish it ended with them driving off in the car instead of them in the diner where it's like, the apocalypse is over. We did it. Yeah, so. I, I guess the, uh, the M. Night Shyamalan big twist of this movie is that it actually, it, it is adapted from a book, but it doesn't follow the book. that book because at the end of the book, no one sacrifices themselves. And yeah. they all drive away together into the sunset. And and you don't know if the apocalypse really happens exactly. or not. So I actually, I, I enjoy that ending much better where the family chooses themselves over the the rest of the world. I find that to be so much more interesting. It's so powerful. It's so powerful. It's it's a much better ending, I think. Speaking of powerful, yes. Dave Batista. Yeah. You know, this is his big this is his big first serious movie. Mm. So how do you think he fares as a as a serious actor? Oh, he's great in this. I agree. If I were to power scale him to other actors in this movie, he's definitely one of the better ones. Yeah. I, I would say. Even um honestly the um both the dads are great. Oh, they're yeah. I really like them, and they have a great dynamic and a great relationship on screen. So I, I was, I mean, I was a little worried that they wouldn't have like any chemistry, mm. especially, especially when it came to like the kid, because yeah. you know, you know, when a movie starts out with a child actor, you're kind of like, ah. Uh, but she was good. Well. Yeah, she, well. she was good. Jinx. Oh. <laughs> I break the jinx. I break the jinx. <laughs> So anyway, um, I guess, have you seen any of the latest M. Night Shyamalan movies? I think Old was the last one before this. You know, I haven't seen Old, but I have heard this wasn't very, that it wasn't very well recepted by um, casual moviegoers. Knock at the Cabin or Old? Old. old. I, heard, I heard Old didn't do very well. So to say, um, to say this movie is a normal movie with not that big of a twist, really, Yeah. Um, you know, Maybe movies are back. And Who's to say? <laughs> that that was really my main takeaway from it was that this movie is just such a normal movie, for better or for worse. It's I, just a normal movie. I would say that's probably my most um like glaring issue with it. It's kind of so normal that it turns into nothing. Yes. You know, if you take away that the I get, what is the twist in this movie that they're the four, four horsemen of the apocalypse? Is that supposed to be no, it? No, I think because I knew that for the second that they walked in, I was like, yeah. "Oh, there's four of them, and it's the apocalypse." No, that's not the twist. I don't think this movie really has a twist. I wouldn't consider one. I, I guess, I guess maybe that in itself is the twist because I'm sitting there waiting for like, like they were all aliens or something stupid what? like that. But for it to end like a normal movie. Yeah. I don't know. It kind of it kind of lessened the M Night blow for me. 
But honestly, this is he. I think he did a pretty good job directing this film. I mean, yeah. we've already talked about the performances of this movie. I mean, four of them are good. I, I would, I'd say I'd say some of them are even great. I, I would say generally across the bar we have good performances. And I, I there, there's no performance in this movie that I would call bad. Yeah, I would say there's certainly weaker performances. Yeah. Um, yes. The earlier horsemen who die. Who's the Who's the first one? Do you remember who that was? It's been a minute. It, it's since... Rupert Grant, right? I thought he was. I thought he was. I was excited to see him like really be in this movie. Mm. Like when they first introduced him, I was like, "Oh my gosh, it's Ron Weasley!" Yeah. I... But then he was the first to die. So I kind of wish they kept him around a bit longer. It, I will say on that, that was a very visceral scene, I thought, where they put the that one especially over his head. For him, that was a very visceral scene. So I would, um, like, if you have a hard time watching executions, <laughs> maybe skip out on this one, but yeah. executions uh, in mind, Nick. Oh! How would you rate this movie? Smooth. Out of ten. Smooth. So, yeah, I think... This movie definitely has some very interesting parts, but those parts don't add up to be a greater than the sum of them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I would say that this movie is just fine. I would give it, a, but I do like it. I would give it a pretty standard six out of ten. You know, Nick, you saying that made me realize that if each of these, like, horsemen had, like, their own, like, dedicated episode... Like, if this was split into four episodes of a TV show, it would still be kind of the same experience. Unless we got to see, like, the horses hang out outside of, yeah. like, outside of the movie. Yeah, but, you know, that being said, the, the, the choppiness of this movie is a little weird, but the acting is good and the story's pretty good. So um, I'm also going to have to give this movie a 6 out of 10. And we will see you next time.